Hey Taurus, welcome to January 2019. Hope you guys are doing well and happy new year. Okay, let's see what's going on for Taurus, January 2019. Woo, okay, let's do this. So, <laughs> got a bunch. We have a partnership that is now really going to come to full, like full head, like really going to start to see what's going on in this partnership, in this relationship. It doesn't have to be sexual, it could be a platonic relationship. Um, I'm feeling ego, so I'm feeling, sorry, not ego, Leo energy. <laughs> um, a lot of uh, Leo qualities, so maybe not somebody who is a Leo, but somebody who has um, either their, their moon or rising or Venus in Leo. Um, this person is very, very egotistical, very in their ego, okay, and very um, attention seeking as well. So the full moon, the new moon um, of January 2019 will bring about a lot of energy when it comes to this partnership. Okay, now let's see what's going on here. Okay, now Taurus, what we have is a water sign, masculine energy. So that is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and them being incredibly greedy, them very much power hoarding, okay? And they're power hoarding as well when it comes to this young earth sign. So young Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? You want to support them, but you're feeling very alone and like you're being taken from. It's like two people, whether it be this water sign and the earth sign, are taking from you. They're taking away your ability to make changes and your ability to feel free. Um, and it's almost like you know, um, it's almost like they're kind of laughing about it. It feels like they're power hoarding, um, you know, and, and their lack of support. It feels very much uh, malicious. And now you're thinking that emotionally you should move on, you should walk away because you have completely new feelings when it comes to um, your stability and your, uh, your foundation and whether or not you should run away or stay and fight. Um, and that is going to lead to a, a risk taking, taking a leap of faith. So we have a partnership that will come to light. The dynamics of this partnership will come to light uh, this month, Taurus. And then this water sign, their selfishness when it comes to an earth sign and their support when it comes to you feeling on your own. It's like they're, they're taking from you, okay? And it's almost like they're laughing at you behind your back they're taking away your freedom so you're like I'm gonna move on emotionally and that creates new feelings about your sense of stability and whether or not you can take risks okay so the situation for Taurus January 2019 is a new frame of mind new frame of mind coming in new way of thinking new way of thinking about integrity new way of thinking about um, people's ego new way of thinking about purity and positivity and admiration and growth. New frame of mind when it comes to all of those factors and you're gonna finally get a grasp on your thinking. Finally, it's not gonna feel like your thoughts are just running rampant. You're gonna finally be able to, to wrap your head around something and be like, I get it now, I get it now. The obstacle and the aid to what you're finally gonna get, Taurus, is this overburden of responsibilities. So maybe what it could be, Taurus, is Finally now, this relationship is being brought to light. You're, you're finally starting to shed some light on this relationship and you finally get why you feel like you have to take on all the responsibilities. And it's because Scorpio Cancer Pisces has been hoarding their power. So you've now taken on all of this weight on your shoulders because of Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Um, and now you're finally gonna understand, be like, okay, this over and over responsibilities is why I needed to change my, my frame of mind when it comes to uh, those factors men mentioned before. But this overburden of responsibilities is a reason why you feel like you can't change your frame of mind. Subconsciously, definitely feel some deception, definitely feel like you're being taken from, and you're thinking that you're just gonna focus on work. You know, I'm just gonna have to make a new plan because still feeling very much so uncomfortable, 
fearful, fear of the unknown, fear of endings, fear of change, inner conflict, um, inner worry that is going very, very deep. It's now uh, transforming your subconscious. Um, it went from a point where you were just had these feelings of, of, of uncomfortability and the fear of the unknown, and it's now seeped into your unconscious or into your subconscious in the form of feeling deceived and feeling taken from. Okay, so Taurus feeling very alone right now. This is how you're, this is the energy you're putting out into the world. This is how you're feeling. So that's what you're manifesting outward. Feeling very alone. So I don't know if um, the new year, January comes in and it's a new beginning and it's a fresh start. And now you're really starting to realize, okay, I've been working so hard. I've been focusing on the plans I want to build for myself, whether that be um, in work or in play, just whatever gives you energy and whatever gives you power. New frame of mind coming in um, and January comes in and, and it shows you that you that you're alone, that you have feelings of, of hermitness, have feelings of being alone, especially when it comes to this relationship, uh, the dynamics there um, and your mental health surrounding this relationship as well. OK, family and friends, there's a lot of conflict going on, a lot of fighting, a lot of uh, turmoil, a lot of fighting for change, a lot of fighting for freedom. Um, and that's the energy that they're giving you. Hope and fear is that you want to be able to make some sort of change um, and, and let yourself be left out in the cold. You almost want this in a way. Is it because, Taurus, if you were to be left out in the cold, you would finally maybe be able to ask for help, finally be able to um, not feel alone because people know that they would have to come to your rescue? Um, hope and fear. You hope for this energy, but of course you fear it as well, right? Okay, Taurus, you got a you got a big month. You got a big month. Okay, January is really is really going to be uh, quite the quite the emotional month for you um, in the fact that your frame of mind is going to be forced to change your way of thinking when it comes to certain people, when it comes to certain aspects of your life. You're gonna be forced to change. You're gonna keep focusing on work and the plans that you have when it comes to the energy you're putting out there. And what that's gonna do is be like, you know what? I think I gotta move on. I think I gotta move on. You're gonna think about, okay, should I be moving on? I have a new frame of mind when it comes to the work I've been doing. I have a new frame of mind when it comes to this overburden of responsibilities. You're gonna be like, should I move on? And unfortunately, Taurus, because of your hard energy, because Taurus, uh, Taurus is, um, you know, rules the second house of money, possessions, finances, um, Taurus energy is, is, it's like the immovable object. Uh, so even in your mind, if you feel like you need to move on, unfortunately, uh, you can't, you can't change your Taurus natural energy and you're not going to move on. You're going to recognize that maybe you should, you're going to think that maybe you should, but you're not going to, unfortunately, you're going to just kind of be like, well, I'm thinking that I should move on, but it's not that bad. So I'm not going to, um, which is unfortunate, Taurus, because if you were to move on, you'd be a lot happier. But of course, moving on would mean that you would have to make a change that would potentially leave you in the cold, leave you scrambling financially as well, um, and just leave you very confused and very um, feeling very much so like a charity case. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you're not going to make that that change. You, you hope for it, but the fear of this change is too much so that that you won't move on. Um, maybe February will bring new energy, uh, but as it stands right now, you're still going to kind of be doing uh, the same thing. Sorry, Taurus. You know what? At the end of the day, you can take this energy and be like, you know what? Screw you, Vanessa. I am going to move on. I know I got to move on, so I'm doing it. Don't tell me that I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. Please do. Please do. Please prove me wrong, okay? And move on because your family and friends, they see you fighting. They see you fighting. They see that you want to make these changes. They see that, come on, Taurus, it's now a new year and you're still fighting and you're still focused um, on your responsibilities and people are still taking from you and you still have um, inner uh, emotional turmoil and inner conflict and not inner peace, and you still have this loneliness, your family and friends, they want you to move forward, okay? But this temperance card says otherwise. It says that it's not that bad here, so maybe I'll just stay a little bit longer. 
Not making a choice is making a choice, okay? Taurus, I wish I could give you better outcome. Like I said, maybe February will be a better, uh, um, better energy for you guys to move forward. But this is the first step, right? Is, is just thinking that maybe you should move on. Um, and that will at least create some energy shifts, okay? Love you, Taurus, is so much. Hope you guys have an amazing January 2019. As always, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. I just want to really quickly let you guys know that I started a new YouTube channel. Um, it's all spirituality, positivity, and power-focused weekly videos. Um, for instance, I'm going to have a video up next week that's all about how to do photo reading. So if you're doing the Tinder or the online dating, we're going to describe how to look at the person's photo um, and know whether or not they're good for you. It's it's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy fun. Um, right now, there's two videos already posted. We, there's one on how to calculate your moon and your Venus sign, so who you are emotionally and who you are in relationships. There's also a positivity crash course. So 11 daily activities on how to feel more positive, how to feel more energetic, and how to just start your January in a very positive way. It's a positive start crash course. Um, I'll post the link. And as always, if you want a personalized reading with me that includes astrology and numerology, my email address is below, beyondersunshine at gmail.com. Love you guys so much, Taurus, and I will see you February 2019. Bye, guys.